thing. I saw it on Seth's bike packs, and obviously using uh, my sonder, I generally do like quite a bit of long travelling, not quite backpacking, not camping or anything, but some long distance rides. Um, and I think it'd be awesome if I had trail forks on my bike rather than keep taking um, the phone out of the pocket. So I'm going to try and install this. Um, obviously, with that, you've got to buy your your case, which mine is a an, an S8 Galaxy S8 case. So I've got that. But one thing I wanted to try also, because obviously I use the action cams quite a lot, is this little mount that quad lock do, which actually fits under the quad lock front mount, and that allow me to mount the camera on underneath where the bar sits. So the camera will sit basically under here. Not if, not sure if that's going to be any good with the vibration. I mean, it's a GoPro with hyper smooth stabilization, um, so it may be all right. But definitely in like low light, it's going to be a pile of pants because GoPros generally are. <laughs> One thing I've noticed, which is quite good, obviously it's quite robust, quite quite good, but it comes with all these spacers. So on these spacers, you've got a 22 millimeter bar. Uh, there's the adapter for that. We've got a 31.8, which up until recently, that was the standard, which is great. And 25.4, which is another old one. And this one obviously states 35 millimeter in there. Uh, which is pretty much now the standard for any decent type of mountain bike. Um, so I think that's a good touch, they throw all the spaces in with it. But then again, it was 30 quid, so they better add the spaces if you know what I mean. <laughs> so here we go, I've fitted my case, and it's just, it's, it is a robust case to be honest. And it's got like the little quad lock attachment on here, which looks pretty decent. Uh, so I think what we do, we slide it on somehow, I'm sure you get used to this. Shouldn't have to line it up really, should, should just go on, ah, there you go. So put it on, turn it, and then yeah, that ain't coming off, love the money. And I think you've got a little push button here, so you push that down and twist it out. That's pretty decent. I like that. I'm going to now attach the GoPro mount thing. Uh, I think I've got that actually backwards. Uh, let's turn that around. Take two. Yeah, I'd noticed that basically having it the other way around, you couldn't fit your GoPro mount on, which fits under there with some very nicely thread locked, ready to go uh, 2.5mm Allen pins. So very, very sturdy. I'm going to have to tie these down. Uh, together in order to get this GoPro on there um, But yeah, seems okay. The only other thing as well, which uh, was a bit annoying was the fact that it was said 35 mil bars, which it went around the 35 mil bars obviously Because my stems quite wide they don't compensate for that If we have a look over the front here, they don't compensate for that uh, so obviously the taper of my bar starts getting a bit thinner, pretty much pretty much the uh, the thickness of that it starts to get thinner so it was slipping down. Uh, so what I've had to do, I had to put a tiny little bit of inner tube with my trusty scissors. And basically what that allowed me to do was make sure it was nice and rigid and it isn't going to slip down so I'm going to tighten that. Um, but to be honest, that seems pretty good. Uh, all my phone secure. I'm not going to show you my password. <laughs> uh, but I'll tighten this pin a little bit down. I don't want to tighten it too much because I don't want to strip any of the threads. And we'll take it for a, a ride tomorrow and we'll see how it does. 2,000 years. Oh, I was having difficulty getting this on yesterday. I'm sure there's a knack to it. Uh, <laughs> They're a little bit fiddly, I'm it sure. Helps if you've got a, um, an audience. Okay. Yeah, it took me ages to. That's it. Pretty solid, mate. 
Yeah, well, I think they're, they're pretty solid, aren't they? Well, I mean, they're not cheap, are they? No, I think th th that's 30, yeah. and your case is 20, and I've, I've spent eight quid on a little GoPro mount, which I'm going to try a little bit later. Okay. Here's the test for it Rock Gardens. Totally the wrong gear for this. <laughs> there you go. So what's the perfect test for this quad lock? I've got a brilliant idea. Let's try and hold a video message with my family as we're going down the downhill trail. In the downhill section, okay? Could have put your makeup on. <laughs> Just so you know, well my this Q lock holds my phone through video chat. <laughs> Hi boys. All right, here we go. Bit of speed. Going off a drop here. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you very much for phoning me on the downhill section. I think I've lost connection anyway. I'm in the forest, but I don't think it's too bad. Camera is now going to the GoPro mount on the underside of the Sonder. Which is here. The I need to get these cables out of the way so it doesn't but I can't imagine you're gonna hear much noise. Uh, in the way of my voice. It's right, Lift Thunder, it's just me. I'll have right. that, yeah. All right, let's get this on here, shall we? So, predictions for this front GoPro mount under the Q lock, or the quad lock, whatever you want to call it. I predict this is going to be absolutely trash, mate. What do you reckon, Ben? It's either going to be, it's going to be one of three things. It's either going to be absolutely superb. Absolutely rubbish, or somewhere in between. <laughs> My prediction was absolutely wrong. This thing is incredible, even more so than the, the chest cam or the helmet cam. It, I thought it would vibrate all over the place considering where it was on the handlebars which are continuously moving. But the GoPro did a fantastic job and the mount didn't move once. Awesome, awesome piece of kit. So, not long got back from me, uh, from Canic, and I've got to say, the footage was really, really good, especially this. I know it's uh, like eight quid. For, for, the, for this little thing, but I gotta say, the footage was absolutely amazing. If I tilted it down a little bit more to get the, the front wheel in, it would have had some really good action camera footage there. Uh, the quad lock itself, I'll put that little bit of inner tube in there, you can just see it, and it didn't move once, and the camera was fine. I did some crazy stuff on the ride. I was video chatting with my family uh, down one of the, uh, the faster trails. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give it a 10 for what it does. If that's what you want something to do, absolutely brilliant. The quad lock is absolutely amazing. If you are a mountain biker, I would thoroughly recommend one of these. Um, you can swap from your chest mount to your helmet mount to that, and you can get multiple views of you going down the trail, which is brilliant. Um, great, if you like this video, um, like and subscribe, usual thing, and uh, we'll see you next time.